Before we get started, I want you to imagine two girls who display the following traits. The first girl, Jordan, loves fashion, shoes, and the color pink. The other girl, April, likes boys' clothing, playing sports, and the color blue. Jordan is interested in makeup, but she's afraid that her parents wouldn't approve of her wearing it. On the other hand, April never wears makeup. She's afraid of stabbing her eye out with a mascara brush. Yeah, both girls watch football with their families on Sunday, and both have a secret. If I were to ask which one of these girls would grow up to be LGBT, you would probably guess April, and you might be right. In a lot of ways, I was like April. I played sports, I wear men's clothing, I'm not the definition of girly. I'm actually the L in LGBT, a woman married to a woman, just like Ellen and Portia. And yes, it took years for me to understand what being LGBT actually meant before I picked up the rainbow flag and marched around in pride. So, let's fast forward to Jordan and April's adult lives. Surprise, April came out to her parents as a lesbian when she was 16, and this year she planned on proposing to her girlfriend in front of her friends and family, none of whom were all that shocked when she came out, and no one really expects her to start wearing heels or wearing makeup. Luckily for April, our culture is more accepting of lesbians. I mean, who doesn't love Ellen? Not to mention that the Supreme Court recently legalized gay marriage. But Jordan has it a little harder now that she's an adult. When she was 16, she came out to her family at a tailgate party. She took her parents off to the side and told them her secret. But they didn't understand. They just felt like they lost their eldest child. Unlike April, Jordan's friends never really imagined she could be LGBT, because she was really good at pretending. And although Jordan's family eventually came around to accepting her, she still faces a lot of discrimination from society as a whole. Now, before we talk about the discrimination people like Jordan face, let's think about what it means to be LGBT. Most assume that all LGBT people are similar because they all wave the rainbow flag and they are likely to face discrimination. This is true in some ways, but it, this oversimplification is also pretty misleading. For example, although Jordan and April are both LGBT, Jordan is not a closeted lesbian. Why? Because Jordan was born a biological male, and up until her tailgate confession, she kept her love of dresses and the color pink a secret. And although Jordan has always felt like a girly girl on the inside, she never really matched that on the outside until she was older. Surprise, Jordan is transgender, the T of LGBT. And unlike lesbians, gays, and bisexuals, Society still has a hard time understanding what it means to be transgender, and they even disapprove of famous ones like Caitlyn Jenner. Therefore, the kind of discrimination people like Jordan face is different than something I will face, even though we both fall under the same LGBT umbrella. So today, I would like to advocate for my trans brothers and sisters in this community, people like Jordan, who in many ways have it much harder than I ever will. For example, the government treats trans people differently. An article from the UCLA Women's Law Journal talks about employment issues they face. Some trans people have tried to use Title VII of the Civil Rights Act that prohibits discrimination based on sex. However, the government and various courts have concluded that sexual identity isn't covered under Title VII. Therefore, you can still discriminate against trans people for being trans. Why is this an issue? Because employment is essential for any person to survive. A job provides income and health benefits, and without those needs met, many trans people have turned to the underground economy for money. This leads to trans people getting jobs involved with drugs or even sex work, which can lead to HIV or addiction issues as well as physical and sexual assault. But unlike you and me, trans people are also discriminated against in the healthcare system. Um, a study from the National Center for Transgender Equality explains how these factors lead to overall poor physical health throughout their life, as well as increased risk of suicide. Thus, it's very hard for them to get help in the medical system, and it's even more expensive and harder for them to get transitional surgeries so they can match their inside to their outside, unless you're a celebrity like Caitlyn Jenner. It is for these reasons that many advocates argue for transgender to be classified as a sex, which isn't a crazy thing to consider. For example, the UCLA article mentions how Congress amended Title VII to include pregnant women as a sex in 1978. Therefore, amending the definition of sex to include transgender would provide protection for all trans people instead of just those who live in progressive cities or communities. Even within the transgender community, certain trans people face more discrimination than others. 
A study by the Williams Institute determined that genderqueer people face more discrimination than those that are strictly male to female or female to male trans people. In other words, not all trans people are just, you know, boys wanting to be girls or girls wanting to be boys. There are a lot of people that fall on the spectrum in between who want to be both or neither or just don't want to be classified at all. And those people are treated worst of all. This further emphasizes the importance of classifying transgender as a sex and affording all trans people the same kind of protection as everyone else. The truth remains, gays, lesbians, and bisexuals have it easier in a lot of ways when they come out to their family and friends. They still can have a happy life, marry who they want to marry, have a job, and don't have to worry about all that much discrimination anymore. But transgender people are still misunderstood by society, and they're scarcely protected. Consider how people talk about Caitlyn Jenner versus how they talk about Ellen DeGeneres. Consider the examples of Jordan and April. Although we all fall under the same LGBT umbrella, we face different kinds of discrimination, and that's not going away anytime soon. Society has learned to accept people like myself, and even the Supreme Court has defended my right to marry the woman I love. Meanwhile, states like North Carolina and certain Kentucky politicians advocate for discriminatory bathroom bills that make it hard for transgender people to just use the restroom, never mind find employment or health care. Overall, it warms my heart to see how many people have chosen anti-homosexuality as their topic for this speech. And I just hope that people who have opened their hearts to me can open their hearts to people that are trans as well. We all fall under the same umbrella, and we all deserve to be treated just like everybody else. I hope as time goes on we can continue to make progress, and it really does warm my heart to see that we're getting there. Thank you for listening today, and remember to keep us in mind whenever you think about the issues our society faces. Thanks.